today and Lord we thank you for everything that you do for us Lord we ask you to take us completely out that we give you all the praise and all the glory and everything that's done Lord and Father God we ask you for healing on all the people that are sick right now and the ones that are struggling Lord and we thank you for this beautiful country that we live in Lord we ask you to bless it and Father God we ask you to have your hands on our government and our president, Lord. Lord, we love you so much, and we lift up the passion play to you, Lord, and put it on people's minds to come from all over the world and just pack that place. Yes. And Father God, we lift up all the churches in Israel, Lord, and that whole confrontation over there, Lord. And we love you and praise your name in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> We are still rocking the stinking cold. Oh, Ugh, stupid. Let's go. <laughs> what you got, babe? Baptism's good. Uh oh, babe. I better turn this off for a while. We went to the river last week. Uh -huh. Yeah, the cold. cold. <laughs> now we're carrying the cold. Yeah, all right, we got the in there. Yeah. Let's uh, start off with. Uh, Tracy George. Sorry, we'll give you a better picture later. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we're going to stick. Dr. and Riley aren't here today, so I'll just take their seat over here. Hopefully, that's Brian. Not Brian. Brian. And Tucker. And Tucker. Uh, it's got too come, many fingers. You come and get the pictures. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and who's left? Thank Brian you. Sutton. Brian Sutton. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to jump to the numbers for this week. Uh, we had 490 people through the food bank, 221 families, 543 hot meals. Thank you guys so much. And also, progress on the buildings. Would you yeah. like to share a little bit? They are um, getting closer. The first one, um, the first one is sheetrocked and halfway mudded. Oh, so right. we're hoping and praying to get it all done. That when I got the crew coming from Missouri um, Friday, that we can move in. We're hoping and praying. Yeah. I'm moving in. in right? <laughs> we have electric in there. Yeah, air conditioning. Yeah, yeah. So we're ready. We're going to move into one of them at a time. Yeah, one at a time. One room, one, yes, one shed. I'm clearing out two rooms back there. <laughs> we're going to try to put it in there. Yeah. All right, and then uh, Jesus Thanks, Parade guys. is this Saturday, uh, March 30th. Uh, we will line up at, between 1 and 1.30 at the library. And we are taking the truck and the box trailer. So I have Shauna riding in the truck with us. And... Um, Maybe we got room for maybe two more people in there. That's it. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be tight. Gonna be tight. So um, everybody else, I want a lot, a lot of, walkers. of walkers. And so <laughs> line up at the library. It says one thirty, but if you want to get there a little early, that way you got an area to park and stuff. Candy, we need candy. Also, they're they're needing uh, people to sign up to help with the parking lot areas down below by the basin and everything like that. So I have a sheet. If you would like to sign up for that, let me know. And then, yes, we need candy, so if you want to um, bring some candy to us this week, it'd be great. Um, I did get some eggs donated. I don't know if we want to put them in there or not, but um, 
either way, you can take those eggs for your children if you yeah. want to, because I'm not going to use them. So I'll do them now, so. Million. Million eggs. eggs. One million eggs. Is that it? Yeah, that's it for me. All right. Well, we're going to play some praise and worship music. Yay. Yay. We're going to wing it as always. And um, uh, feel free to come up to the altar. We need to be praying for our folks at Dr. Paul's. They got in trouble. They don't get to come today. So uh, we need to be praying for them. And um, praying what? for... Uh, what? Really? Yeah. You got, you got to be on your toes there, man. You can't be messing up. <laughs> don't spank you. But uh, anyways... Um, yeah, we got granted from church. Man, they should have rounded them all up and made them go to church. Yeah. Hey, brother, what's up? But uh, anyways, um, you praise God. How you like praising God? The altars are open. Feel to pray with somebody. Go pray with them. I love you. My favorite song. See Quentin on the defense.
people singing glory, glory, hallelujah, he reigns, he reigns, yeah. Yeah. Amen. amen, hallelujah, thank you Lord.
in the streets. Oh, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Oh, Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name.
I was good on piano there. <laughs> you did excellent. In the Sunday schoolers, I go. Yeah, get it all back here with Thomas. I got to go back here. Thank you, Father God, for the learning, Lord. We believe everything in this to be written by you and be good you, Father God. Let it be easy for us to read and easy for us to understand. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. All right, well, we got through half of it last week, but we get to hear the whole thing, so here we go. Ah, John 14. <clears throat> Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip, even after I have been among you such a long time? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father Man, I'm out of breath, man. <laughs> and I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. If you love me, keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate, <clears throat> another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The Spirit of Truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Before long, the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me because I live. You also will live. <coughs> On that day, you will realize that I am in the Father and you are in me, and I am in you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. Then Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said, But Lord, why do you intend, intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and, he, <coughs> and we will come to them and make our home with them. Praise God on that, right? <laughs> Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. All this I have spoken while still with you, 
But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Whew, man, I'm out of breath today. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You heard me say, I am going away, and I am coming back to you. If you love me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. I have told you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe. I will not say much more to you, for the Prince of this world is coming. He has no hold over me, but he comes so that the world may learn that I love the Father and do exactly what my Father has commanded me. Come now, let us leave. Let me stop right there. Thank you, Father God, for your word, Lord. Let us use this word to get closer to you. Thank you, Father God. Well, we got all the way up to, um, what did we get to? 14 last week. You know what? I'm going to just go over 14 again just to refresh us. So I'm going to start at 14. Verse 14, you may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Man, i got to catch my breath. I'm sorry, guys. Stick the water out. Man. When Jesus says we can ask for anything, we must remember that our asking must be in his name, that it is according to God's character and will. God will not grant requests contrary to his nature or his will. We cannot use his name as a magic formula to fulfill our selfish desires. If we are sincerely following God and seeking to do his will, then our request will be in line with what, we, what he wants and he will grant them. Verse 15 and 16. If you love me, keep my commands. Verse 16, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. Well, Jesus was soon going to leave the disciples, but he would remain with them. How could this be? The advocate, the Spirit of God himself, would come after Jesus, was gone to care for and guide the disciples. The regenerating power of the Spirit came on the disciples just before Jesus' ascension, and the Spirit was poured out on all the believers at Pentecost. Shortly after Jesus ascended to heaven, the Holy Spirit is the very presence of God within us, and all believers helping us live as God wants and building Christ's church on earth. By faith, we can feel and use the Spirit's power each day. The word, thank you, brother. Thank you. The word translated advocate combines the ideas of comfort and counsel. The word could also be translated comforter, encourager, or advocate. The Holy Spirit is a powerful person on our side working for and with us. Excuse me. Thank you, gentlemen. Ah, all right. Verse 17. The Spirit of Truth. The world cannot accept Him because it neither sees Him nor knows Him. But you know Him, for He lives with you and will be in you. The Holy Spirit will be with us forever. The world at large cannot accept him. He lives with us and in us. He teaches us. He reminds us of Jesus' words. He convicts us of sin, shows us God's righteousness, and announces God's judgment on evil. He guides into truth <clears throat> and gives insight into future events. He brings glory to Christ. The Holy Spirit has been active among people from the beginning of time, but after Pentecost, he came to live in all believers. Many people 
are unaware of the Holy Spirit's activities, but to those who hear Christ's words and understand the Spirit's power, the Spirit gives a whole new way to look at life. Woo! Praise God, man. I'm so thankful for the Holy Spirit, man. I'm telling you guys, every time I mess up, man, He's right there. Boom. That's right, man. Knocking on my head, telling me to, hey, you better start repenting. And that's the thing, guys. Repent, repent, repent. Don't ever stop repenting. Because when you stop repenting, you might be slipping away. There's a real good chance of that. So, man, that's right. That's right. Torn and walk away from it, brother. Hallelujah. Verse 18. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. When Jesus said, I will come to you, he meant it. Although Jesus ascended to heaven, he sent the Holy Spirit to live in believers. And to have the Holy Spirit is to have Jesus himself. I believe that in everything in me. Verse 19 and 20. Before long, the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. And I love that. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes people wish they knew the future or so they could prepare for it. <laughs> Anybody guilty of that? Probably all of us, I'm sure. God has chosen not to give us this knowledge. He alone knows what will happen, but He tells us all we need to know to prepare for the future. When we live by His standards, He will not leave us. He will come to us. He will be in us, and He will show Himself to us. God knows what will happen, and because... He will be with us through it all. We need not to fear. We don't have to know the future to have faith in God. We have to have faith in God to be secure about the future. Amen. 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 And, you know, I, I got to tell you guys, when I first got saved, that meant more to me than anything. For sure knowing I was going to go to heaven. That was like the top getting the golden ticket, man. It was like, wow, thank you, Lord, for that, man. And I truly believe you give your life to Christ and you love him and you do what he wants you to do. And yes, you're going to screw up here and there. You know, I hate to put that on you, but that's the way we do. We mess up, man, daily. I know I do. Ask for forgiveness. That's you what just the keep Holy on Spirit going. does when it messed up. That's right. He yeah. whacks you on the back of the head and says you messed up. That's right. It's up to us to recognize. Immediately. <laughs> it's like, man, as soon as that happens, it's like, wait a minute, i got to hit the brakes, turn around and correct that, man, because I just screwed up with that person. You know, and uh, that's, and if that person ever gets away from you, you just pray for the Lord to put them back in your path, man. And yeah. you will freak out uh, how, boing, there they are, man. It's like, man, I've been waiting to run into you so I can tell you I screwed up, you know. <laughs> just admit it and go on with it, man. Yeah. we got to learn from our mistakes. Yeah. Verse 21, whoever has my commands and keeps them <laughs> is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. When Jesus said that his followers showed their love for him by obeying him, love is more than lovely words. It is commitment and conduct. When we start loving people, I mean real love of Christ, we have to totally commit to it. And then we have to show people with our actions. If we truly love Christ, then we need to prove it by obeying what He says in His Word. That's right, man. Everything in this is true. Believe it. And if you got problems with that, you pray to the Lord to get you through that. Because, uh, you know... There's been one verse in here 
somebody and make a whole stinking religion out of it. Don't fall for that, man. Verse 22, Then Judas, not Judas Iscariot, <clears throat> said, But Lord, why do you intend to show yourself to us and not the, to the world? <coughs> Sorry, guys. Man. Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father <clears throat> will love them, and we will come to them <clears throat> and make our home with them. <coughs> voice is trashed. <coughs> Sorry guys. Stick of cold. And I'm sorry if I gave it to you. <laughs> but I love you. <laughs> okay. So because the disciples were still expecting Jesus to establish an earthly kingdom and overthrow Rome, they found it hard to understand why he did not tell the world at large that he was the Messiah. Not everyone, however, could understand Jesus' message. Ever since Pentecost, the gospel of the kingdom has been proclaimed in the whole world, and yet not everyone is re receptive to it. Jesus saves the deepest revelation of himself for those who love and obey him. Did you get that? Yes. Verse 24 and 25. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teachings. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. Verse 25. All this I have spoken while still with you. When Jesus was with the disciples, they could listen to his teachings and ask questions. When he was gone, I'm going to read the next one. <laughs> Verse 26, But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Well, Jesus, is, Jesus promised the disciples that the Holy Spirit would help them remember what he had been teaching them. They were eyewitnesses of Jesus' life and teachings. We can be confident that the Gospels are accurate records of what Jesus taught and did. The Holy Spirit can help us in the same way. As we study the Bible, we can trust Him to plant truth in our minds, convince us of God's will, and remind us when we stray from it. Yikes. Verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. <clears throat> do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Well, the end result of the Holy Spirit's work in our lives is deep and lasting peace. Unlike worldly peace, which is usually defined as an absence of conflict, this peace is confident assurance in any circumstance with Christ's peace. We have no need to fear the presence of the future. Sin, fear, uncertainty, doubt, and numerous other forces are at war within us. The peace of God moves into our hearts and lives to restrain these hostile forces <clears throat> and offer comfort in place of conflict. Jesus says he will give us that peace if we are willing to accept it from him. If your life is full of stress, allow the Holy Spirit to fill you with Christ. I love that ringtone, man. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so I'm closing here. Verse 28. You heard me say I am going away and <clears throat> and I am coming back to you. If you love me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. As God the Son, Jesus willing submits to God the Father. Verse 29, I have told you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe. Verse 30 and 31, I will not say much more to you, for the Prince of this world is coming. He has no hold over me, but he comes so that the world may learn 
that I love the Father and do exactly what my Father has commanded me. Come now, let us leave. Well, although Satan, the prince of this world, was unable to overpower Jesus, he still had the arrogance to try. Satan's power exists only because God allows him to act. But because Jesus is sinless, Satan has no power over him. Amen. If we obey Jesus and align ourselves closely with God's purposes, Satan can have no power over us. Amen. Amen. I'm stopping right there, man. Well, I'm praying, guys, that this did something for you today. It did for me. But um, I believe that when you hear these words and you get it, I believe that you got it. And you just keep going. You carry on, man. You open up your word every chance you can, you know. I know uh, we spend a lot of time doing other stuff when we should be reading our word. But that's the way we are, you know. We're a little selfish still, you know. But I want to hear some praise reports. And I know in prayer requests. Yes, honey. Well, one, <coughs> last week... I remembered as soon as we got done with church that I had the biggest blessing, and that was we, after two years they came out and drilled our well. Yes. Yes. And we should have the pump in tomorrow, so that's oh, so awesome. hooked up, so yay. And then also, since I swapped jobs, I'm like in between like getting paid because they hold back. So my intern for my car went out, and I got pulled over on Friday. Uh -oh. And not only did he accuse me of doing meth, which I've never done. Yeah. But um, he searched my vehicle and he's like, oh, you're right, there's no meth in here. And I was like, yeah, I know. So whatever. Um, he let me go with a no warning, or a, on a warning with no insurance. So that was oh, good. Lord. That never happens. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Have a water, man. That is a blessing. <laughs> you know, I noticed, I, I think, um, I think the cops have been doing crap like that lately because <laughs> I know of other people that's gotten pulled over yeah. and they just treated them like an absolute, yeah. like they were a criminal. I mean, doing all kinds, they accused them all kinds of stuff and it wasn't like, like that. They've done it every time I get pulled yeah. over. Yeah, and it's like, you know, I think they want you to lose your cool so they got a, a real reason to bust you. Yeah. I mean, that ain't right. Oh, over here. Sorry, I'll get back to you. Um, I had a Dodge Durango that I bought. One week after it was registered, tag paid off a little bit. We got hit and run by a hit and run driver at about 65 miles an hour. Um, it totaled the Durango um, about three thousand dollars worth of parts. Yikes. I was gifted a thousand dollars worth of parts yesterday morning. We were in need of about 700 to another thousand to try and get it back up on the road. And yesterday morning, we woke up at 6:30 in the morning, and somebody had piled 600 to seven thousand dollars with the parts that we needed for our new friend. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Praise God. Hold on. Right there, honey. Right here? Yeah. yeah. Um, I just I just would like for um, all of us if we could to pray right now for the people that's in the center that are going through some stuff mm -hmm. and just for them to uh, not give up and know that it's I don't want to say it's okay to do what to do some of the things that they did, but we are going to um, just make mistakes like that, and to know that um, we do have God to fall back on, Amen. and that He's He never leaves us, and that He's always there for us. So, if we could, would you pray? Hey, will you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. If we all be quiet, will you just pray for us? Yeah. All right. Yes. Everybody agree with her. Yes. Father God, Lord Jesus, I just ask that. Um, we lift all the people up at the center, Lord, that is going through some things that may be um, kind of lost their relationship with you, God, that they know that you are there for them, Jesus. And I just ask that you give them the courage to keep pushing through, God. And um, it's because of you, God, that um, all of us are here today and that we just thank you, Jesus. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Uh, hold on, Moses. I've seen another hand pop up somewhere. Yeah, honey. Prayer for my sister who is in chemo for breast cancer. 
Okay. She's like the sixth woman in our family that mm. is on the way to possibly pass. And mm. I already lost one sister. Let's pray right now. Father God, we lift up our sister, Lord, and we ask you, Lord, take this cancer away, Father God, and to heal her and comfort the family and comfort her, Lord, and we love you and we praise your name. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 I see another one pop up over there somewhere. Moses. All right, I got to tell you a little story about how Jesus comes to me. I was a wild and crazy man when I was young. Really crazy. And I went on a religious quest. And I got put off by a lot of different places. My police would meet you with these guys called the Jesus Freaks and they do the tongue business and all that heavy jazz. Yeah. And the guys trying to force my head down and I had to knock them out cold. Yeah. <laughs> Been there, done that, man. I went, to, I went to another place where they told us to come and have a, a free Italian meal and it turned out to be the Moonies. And then there was when this mom, mom, the moon banging his shoe, I got up and told this woman from Israel that that was a bunch of baloney. Yeah. And they said that uh, Satan had fallen to the earth in 1914, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, uh, oh, man. I was going to a, what do they call it, uh, Masonic, Messianic Jewish yeah. thing where the rabbi and all that, well, his cohort was this old boy that looked like he was from Arkansas. He was telling a story about a little girl and everything else and he was saying something about the ground is level at the foot of the cross and I got overwhelmed. I got overwhelmed by that feeling. Something happened. I didn't even understand it. And I felt that same feeling when I came here and met you. Okay? So he speaks to us in different ways. Everybody's got a different way. But when he speaks that <laughs> profoundly, you can't deny it. Yeah. 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 That's all I got to say about it. That's funny. I, uh, I, I got a, a little short story. <laughs> My uh, sister got brainwashed and kidnapped by the Moonies and um, back in the early 70s and my dad sent out the goon squad to go get her. They, they got her all right. Man. Uh, they're crazy. I, I see another hand pop up here somewhere. Yes. I would like the church to pray for my sister-in-law. She's dying of lung cancer mm -hmm. and she's an atheist. Uh, so Let's do it right now. Father God, we lift up our sister, Lord, and we ask you, Lord, to just send somebody to her path to tell her about you and just give her every chance that there is, Lord, to surrender to you and to believe. Father God, we ask you for a healing, Lord, and we ask you to just lift up the family to you, Lord, and we thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 Anyway. Yes, honey. I went I went to the nursing home. I saw Johnny yeah. this week. Mm -hmm. and, and we said scripture. Amen. And I sang with her. And I met her roommate, Terry. And different people in there. I just hugged them. I gave them a card. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. met Luis. He, he only speaks Spanish. But I sent a card with Amy the week before. Yeah. So he knew me. I hugged him. Nice. But when I went to leave, they don't, they don't let me out. <laughs> they, they saw I was in the nursing <laughs> Ooh, I love it. That is great. Yeah. Hey, um, Johnny doing okay? Yeah. Um, she needs a Yes. We do need yeah. to go see her. Yeah. Get over this cold and I'll go see her. Yeah. Yes, honey. The reason you got stuck in there is because you have to have a code. 
Yeah. 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 I, I didn't put my mother in there, but what bothers uh, me is when she was, place in the hospital, that, yeah. she was in the hospital in Berryville, and the yeah. hospital in Berryville put her in there without even telling me until after yeah. they did, and that's what's bothering me. Uh, but they are really, really nice. They're taking good care of her, honey. And they are taking really good yeah. care of her in ways that I can't. Yeah. Awesome. God bless yeah, you, honey. Good. Yeah, John. Uh, Rainy that's been staying on the property, her mom's in the hospital, so we need to pray for her. Yes, Father God, we lift him up to you, Lord. Bless him. Heal him, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Yes, Father. Just, um, I just ask that when we take my mom's ashes up to my dad's grave, we have a safe journey up there yeah. and a safe journey back. Yes. Father right. God bless them, Lord. We love our sister. We miss her like crazy, brother. She's a nice and man. Keep them safe, Father God. In the name of Jesus, amen. Yes, honey. Um, if you could remember our friend Trent, he, um, he dislocated his ankle and he fell whenever he did. He fractured his. He said, he doctor said it was severely fractured uh, tibia. So oh, he's, he's got to, he's most likely going to have to have surgery. So we don't remember him. Lord, we lift up Trent, Father God, for healing. Lord, thank you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Anybody else? Yeah. Um, I just ask everybody to keep reading the prayers. She's going to be uh, going to take care of some issues tonight. And uh, hopefully we can just clear through that this next week. Yeah. Yes, Father God, we ask you to make it easy, Lord, whatever needs to be done, Father God. And Lord, we're lifting up your family, brother. How's the baby doing? She is responsive. She's not talking or anything. She's able to squeeze fingers and open eyes and kind of shake her head, but you know, she's that ten percent ain't nothing to her. My heart breaks for that whole situation, brother. I'm sorry for that. Yes, Charlie. I just want to thank everybody and thank Jesus for staying with me through some times of having a bunch of issues. Yes. And I couldn't do it without the support. Yes. I'd like to thank everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for not giving up on us. Lord. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Father oh, God. I want to yeah. pray for uh, our daughter Nikki, and yeah. then also um, oh. praise for our great grandbaby. I totally forgot. We had a great grandbaby. Oh, wow. 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 Thank God he gave us the verse, 1 Peter 5, 7, because I've been leaning on that all my life. Amen, sister. Amen. Amen. And yes, honey. Chuck, these, uh, me and Tom went up to see her dad. They're supposed to move him from the hospital into a nursing home. He's still not got his strength back. He still can't eat. They started giving him chips and the... Uh, went right straight to his lungs. He's got a hole oh, no. somewhere and it's filling up his left lung and he was praying. Mm, God, we lift him up to you, Lord. We ask you to give him a safe trip back and keep him safe while they're up there, Father God, and heal him in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Hey, guys, um, stick around. Hang out with us. Small crowd today, so we're gonna eat real good. <laughs> I love you But um, you know how it is, how we put stuff up here, um, set up the tables and uh, put the chairs up. And um, well, I'm gonna close real quick in prayer. Father God, we, we ask you to bless the food we're gonna have today and the fellowship we're gonna have, Father God, and bless everybody on their safe. Give them a safe trip home, Father God, and we thank you for everything, Lord. We praise your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 Oh, wow.
Woo! Hey, threw it. Hey. Hey.